Hey guys, it's Jamie from Legend Gaming. In this video, I have the last of a three-part discussion on Battlefield 2016. If you haven't seen part one and two, I'd recommend checking those videos out. And also, this was with Iceman Oz and Cheesy Gaming. Don't forget to go and check out their channels linked in the description. The gameplay in this video, some interesting gameplay. The weapons you probably don't see too much anymore. The Car 556. I believe like also with the ACWR. I uh, really the Car 556 is a gun I haven't really seen too much gameplay of, uh, especially since launch. It was one of the day one DLC weapons, and really after the first month of the game it seems to have been pretty much forgotten. But I did get some pretty cool gameplay with it. Like and subscribe if you are new here, but let's get right into part three of this discussion. What they're gonna do with the game, I mean, I feel like I can't remember if they specifically announced this but that it's only going to be like next-gen next consoles and PC. And I th you talked about this in a rumor video, Iceman, but like that it could push past like 80 player battles. And I think if you want to like talk about that a little bit more. Sure. Um, yeah. So when, when we think about it, we need to make progress when it comes to play accounts because for Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4 and Battlefield Hardline, you know, we've had we've had the same numbers. So I think that to raise the play account would be a great innovation. Now, when we do that, we got to consider also the consoles and the fact that could they even handle this? And that was a point of conjecture in the comment section on that video that I made that maybe they couldn't even handle, you know, 80 players or 120. Now, the reason yeah. I believe that's not true is because in the beta of Battlefield 4, they tested 80 player servers. So it's absolutely possible that they can do it. Now, the reason yeah. that they don't do it is because I feel like they knew how bad the netcode was going to be on release. <laughs> and if they had 80 player servers with that netcode, no one would like it would be even worse than what it was. And it released so poorly, it would have been maybe 100 times worse. We don't actually know, thankfully. Yeah. But. Um, <laughs> Who knows when it comes to this, there will be, I promise you this, when the beta rolls around, there will be 80 player servers tested and uh, yeah. that'll be very interesting. And yeah, I feel like you're definitely right that the consoles would be able to push past 80 players. And I feel like for Conquest Lords that would work, but I feel like these smaller game modes, the gameplay size and scale works pretty well right now. And I don't necessarily know if they'd want to change that. And I feel like they should still offer like 64 player conquest and maybe just like, I don't know what the name would be called, like conquest giant or something for the 80 <laughs> player servers, but I feel like they should still offer like conquest small, large, and whatever this new form would be. Conquest giant, I like it, I dig it. Yeah. You gotta have 400 <laughs> players in a server. I mean, if Meg yeah. can have a hundred players on a PS3, and you're telling me <laughs> that we can't have 80 players? Like, really, bro? Like, is it like yeah, what's man. going on there? But um, okay, to wrap it up, final thoughts. What are we thinking? Uh, what are, what are we thinking when it comes to the next Battlefield game? General thoughts. Uh, well, I mean, it has to be really good because people probably don't have well, like, people have high expectations because Battlefield Hardline was not that great, or at least wasn't as good as previous Battlefields. So I think it really needs to be a top-notch game uh, to really like meet the expectations that people do have, and um, that it becomes you know successful and stuff. So yeah, it really needs to be a good game. Yeah, well for me personally, I honestly like whatever setting they pick, I won't necessarily care. Like I actually wouldn't even mind a futuristic setting because I feel like for Dice personally, they could taken in so many different directions i mean from the rumors i've heard from your channel i mean some of the stuff they've talked about sounds really awesome like with the titan salt mode some of the rumors yeah. for that just sound absolutely awesome and i w didn't necessarily think i wanted a 2143 setting but once i heard some of the rumors and like even if those are fake like all the different directions they could take a futuristic game in because there's not held down by history and stuff like that I just think they could do a lot with it, but at the same time, um, we haven't really seen too many World War One games with or World War Two games with like battlefield-like graphics and the sort of new gameplay style we've got from it. 
So I mean, right, the Frostbite engine, like the upgrades yeah. to that. We haven't really got a current gen World War Two game. I guess that what that's what Battalion is trying trying to provide. I think if they did go towards World War Two, I think it would be a mistake because of Battalion. Because let me tell you, mm -hmm. when that game releases, it is going to be popular. It is going to, yeah. it is really going to take off. I promise you that. Unless the game really sucks, then it'll die. But. <laughs> Uh, should take yeah, off yeah, rather from well. the gameplay we've seen it looks pretty awesome but obviously they're gonna show the best gameplay in the first trailer they release but I still think if they go I mean I'd still play it and it'd be a pretty probably a pretty good game but if they just continued again with just a modern military shooter I mean I don't know how they would shake up the gameplay a lot especially from Battlefield 3 to Battlefield 4 I mean between those two games there weren't too much different I mean if you compare like Bad Company 2 to Battlefield 3, they were pretty different and like the difference between BF4 and BF3 uh, aren't really, isn't really too much. And I feel like if they were to just go BF5 as a standard modern military shooter, I don't really know how much innovation they could push as far as like gameplay and setting wise. All right. All right. Well, let's move on to the next uh, topic, and that is the release date of the next Battlefield game. Now, there are a few things we know. We know that uh, EA's third physical yeah, quarter so it'll be between october 1 and december 31 we know that the beta will probably be early september right uh it's being yeah. developed according to dan vaderland's uh developer director at dice which is what i'm reading here when we come to that i mean it's a pretty simple conclusion we know this based off what we've been told and we also know this based off the past when it comes yeah. to it when it comes to battlefield 3 Battlefield 4. Hardline was actually released in March, wasn't it? Which was a little bit because different. Because it was delayed. Though. It was supposed to be released in that same time frame, but uh, way too much feedback from the first beta that it was the exact same as Battlefield 4, so they had to delay it like seven months. But um, Savage. As, yeah. <laughs> as far as the, um, like, when we will get an announcement, I was just, I did a video on this like two or three weeks ago, but if you look at like the past and what they've done in the past, um, a trailer for the game or a teaser trailer for the game usually comes out only a few days or a week after like the final DLC releases to everybody. So like when it comes out for non-premium users and for Hardline, uh, the final DLC releases for non-premium on March 15th. So I'd say definitely before the end of March, um, we'd get an announcement for this game or at least some sort of teaser trailer. Right. Yeah, that's a good point. All right, so is that all we've got? Any other thoughts generally? No, I think that's good, yeah. Thanks for watching. If you did like this three-part discussion, I'm going to drop a like down below. Leave some feedback in the comment section. Again, don't forget to go and check out Iceman Oz and Cheesy Gaming linked in the description. And as well, if you want more Battlefield 2016 videos, tell me down below in the comments. I'll definitely make some, especially considering that we should get some more news on this in the next few days or weeks and also i don't really have too much to cover over the next six months as far as new dlc and new content so i should be talking a lot about rumors and speculation about this game but that's what it was big guys thanks for watching i'll see you guys next time